The end of an era is here. One of Las Vegas' oldest resorts, the Tropicana, closes its door in an hour. Thanks for joining us at noon. I'm Kamari Esquera. Early this morning, the casino stopped taking bets at the property that opened nearly 70 years ago. Ryan Matthew is live for the final minutes of the Tropicana. Ryan. Hey there, Kamari. So from the mob ties to the lounge acts to even a few movie appearances over the years, this relic of 1950s Vegas is bringing out those people just wanting to get that one final memory, all while reliving memories that they've made over nearly seven uh, decades, rather, of service here. And you can see on their marquee already a lot of goodbyes. This one uh, going to be appearing along the strip later today, acknowledging those 67 years of history here. Now coming up on your screen is what it looks like on the inside. Currently, they're only allowing those people who stayed there last night to go in. Now, as you can see, no more bets. The gaming floor is closed at 3 this morning. The final checkouts are happening right now as we speak. Those rooms, by the way, costing over $600 after taxes and fees just for the last night. Now, talking on the other hand, 600 employees remain here today. Tomorrow, that narrows down to only 100 as they start the decommissioning process. But for right now, those staying here or just getting here in time for that final goodbye are making efforts to be a part of history. I literally came straight from the airport and I asked the driver to take me straight to the Tropicana. I'm sitting all the way on the other side of the strip, but I wanted to just be a part of the history and see it one last time before they closed. Checking it really sad. Um, the staff in here are all wonderful. They've all been so good to us over the years as well. So it's been a really sad experience and also all the machines are starting to go off and be shut down and it's just quite sad. Now, even Elvis has left the building. It's a swarm of people out here right now, Kamari, getting those final photos in. The general manager and around 50 team members are locking those doors for the final time at 1 o'clock. Now, some of those team members tell me they're going to be partying it up over at a Buffalo Wild Wings just after the closure. And if you're here near the Strip later today, make sure to check some of those marquees out on across several different hotel properties as you'll see a very similar goodbye message like this one here at the Tropicana all across the Strip as they say goodbye after nearly seven decades. For now, reporting live outside Tropicana Las Vegas, Ryan Matthew, A News Now. Certainly a bittersweet moment for Las Vegas locals and tourists coming here. Before the Tropicana becomes a thing of the past, guest collectors among them snagged some of the history from inside. It wasn't just pictures and traditional souvenirs they were after. The casino says many of the poker chips were not being cashed in. Robert McKee is a poker chip collector. He recently visited the casino and took a whole stack with him. These are all Tropicana chips. Um, you know, as you said, uh, they, they were restricting people from coming up and buying them. Uh, so I had to be a little crafty. And, um, you know, they, I, I committed a cardinal sin of uh, actually taking with me some chips that are supposed to stay on the roulette table. Only the $25 and $100 chips were being sold. By state law, all that are left after today will be destroyed.